What is up, YouTube? It's your girl, Kinesa Deshae, and I'm here with a wig tutorial. Today, I'm going to be installing this wig on my mother. This is her wig she purchased for her birthday. I'm just showing you guys the inside, the elastic band, the combs. Y'all know what comes inside of a wig. Here we go. It's a little curly wig that she wanted to do, so I'm just showing y'all what it looks like. I like to use 30 Volume Developer as well as the BW2 um, Developing Cream. Um, and this is the mixing bowl that I like to use along with a plastic knife. And so, I'm just showing y'all how we're going to mix that thing on up. You're going to pour your developer in there, mix, mix, mix to get the right consistency. They always describe it as a pen, pancake mix consistency, so... Yeah, get that pancake mix consistency, girl. And excuse me if I sound a little stuffy. I'm a little under the weather. But, baby, that's not going to stop us from getting these videos out. I'm just going to apply it to the wig. You can leave it on there for 30 minutes and check it. Um, shimmer lights is what I like to use to wash it off. And here it is um, after I plucked it and bleached it. Um, and I also like to go over with the hot comb off the head as well as the baby hairs as well Just because it gives a flawless install once you do it off the head versus trying to flatten it on the head now I like to use the Tay method and um, Use whatever glue which I use um boho active I take that glue and I use that to melt my ball cap um, That's what Tay does and that's what works for me and it actually lasts much longer than using got to be free spray which is what I used to. Then I take whatever foundation matches your client, whoever you're doing, you, yourself, your mom, your friend, whatever foundation matches them, go on the inside of that wig and put that foundation all over. Now, this is a transparent lace. Um, so that is necessary to apply that makeup on the inside of that wig so that it can match flawlessly. Okay, so what I also like to do to make sure that the wig is flat is I like to cut out those combs. Now, you saw in the beginning that there were like three or four combs in the wig. I like to cut out all of them except for the one in the back. And that's just going to give a flat install. Nobody used them combs. No way, girl. Cutting them things out. And here goes the other one on the side. And I'm just going to use a razor comb to uh, get that out. Um, so, yeah, that's all you got to do. Just be careful because you can put a hole in your wig if you are not being careful. So, that's what I'm doing here. And here I am. More foundation. So, same thing. Now, you did the foundation in the wig. You want to do the foundation on the cap to make sure that it matches correctly. And as you can see where I put that um, boho glue, it's dry. So, you want to wait till it's dry before you apply your foundation. Please make sure it's dry. Okay? Now, here I am um, cutting that ball cap. Simple as that. I literally do what everybody else does, y'all. Nothing special. Nothing special. Nothing special at all. And yes, y'all, I'm a little under the weather, y'all. I'm so sorry, girl. I'm so sorry. But yes, um, just make sure you get as close as possible. Um, ever since I've been using this method with the glue instead of the um got to be spray, my wigs have lasted so much longer. So much more longer. Now here I am. What I like to do, once again from Tay, I like to do half of the head. So um I apply glue to half of it and I like to do three layers okay so this is my first layer I like to do dots and I smooth them out okay I like to do a dot on the cap dot on the skin dot on the cap dot on the skin that's how I like to do it and if there's any excess hair that may be on your comb maybe on the forehead whatever get it off and here you see me dot on the cap, dot on the skin, dot on the cap, dot on the skin. And this is my second layer. Another tip as well that I got from Tay is I do not let the layers fully dry. The only layer that I allow to fully dry is the very last one. So this is my second layer. Here I am. I'm smoothing it out. Once I finish smoothing it out, I'm going in with my third. So that's me going in with my third. That's once I got done smoothing it out, I'm going in with that third. Now this third, let that thing dry clear, which I let it dry clear. And now you see I'm going in and I'm just applying the wig. Um, and make sure that you are pulling that wig directly into that glue. You do not want any excess glue exposed or you might as well just hang it up, baby. Hang it up. The install is not going to look good. Um, just because that excess glue is going to attract lint and hair. And it's going to cause your lace to look dirty. And it's just not going to give scalp. You want all that glue to be covered. 
So here I am going on the second half of the head that I didn't glue down. I'm just going in on that side and applying glue to the cap, glue to the skin, glue to the cap, glue to the skin. And I love using a rat tail comb. You can use whatever you want. I see people use fingers and it works for them. I did my three layers and I'm just pulling it over. I did a lot of skipping because it was just, you know, it's very repetitive. You do your three layers like you did the first time and boom, bada bam, baby. And here I am going over it with elastic band. Make sure you pull that lace. I cannot stress enough how it is so important to pull that lace in front of that glue. You do not know, want no excess glue exposed, okay? You want to be able to, if there's excess lace that you can probably put more glue down, of course, do that. But you don't want more glue still left over and no lace, if that makes sense. I hope I'm making sense, ladies. Here I am just curling, curling her hair. That's all. Nothing special. Split the flip. Nothing special. I curl it. I curl it with a flat iron. I don't know. I just flat iron it is. <laughs> I don't know. But, yes, I hope you guys understand what I mean by the glue situation um so yeah and by no means am i a professional or anything you guys i'm just telling you guys what i've learned and what has been working for me i am an amateur who is on youtube just like you guys um just trying to get tips on how to be bomb girl because we all want to look good when we step out and here i am uh, putting some black spray just to give that more crisp honey okay crisp <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I'm just trying to do her some more flips, y'all. I was trying to put some layers in her hair. And I wanted to keep going, keep going. But she did not want me to keep cutting. Because, baby, I was going to lay her down, baby. But she didn't want me to. So, here we are. <laughs> and then here I am just cutting that lace, okay? So, um, yeah, I'm just going to move the hair out the way. And I like to use a razor comb to do this, okay? Just using a razor comb to do this. Now, um, like I said, make sure, but like I said in the beginning, when you apply that makeup, like I said, this is transparent lace. So the makeup is very important, um, especially for darker complexions, just because it's going to make sure it's a flawless install. So I'm just cutting, 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 cutting. And here I am going back in those baby hairs that I left out with that hot comb. I'm just going back in and we're going to shave them on up, shave them on up. Right. All right. And um, what I like to do, good tip, make them longer. Even if you think they're too long, it's best to make them too long and too short because you can always cut more. But, baby, once they're too short, <laughs> you might as well hang it up. Okay. And here I am curling with my mini flat iron. See, that one's a little too long. So I just went back and cut some more. And now we're just doing them baby hairs, baby. That's it. That's it. Yep. 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 So how y'all been? Yeah, how have y'all been? How have the holidays been treating y'all? Hopefully well. I love the holidays. I love the holidays. And here I am going in with that hot comb. Just trying to give it a look, girl. Because she didn't want me to put no more layers. But here y'all go. Bada bang, baby. Um, I wish I kind of put her baby hairs a little bit lower. They're a little too high for my liking. But like I said, I'm not a professional. I just do what I see and I just try it. But this is my mother, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe.